Uh, Ruben, thank you for 27 months, by the way. Join this up now. I'm still not happy with these little kinks here, but I think... yeah, I just saw what you meant about this one here is the biggest one. Yeah, it just it just sharply yeah. jumps. Let's see if we can smooth it out. Noise. A small like it. It's nasty like you. <laughs> There we go. That's better. Noise. The game does allow curves. I think that should be fine. Yeah, that looks all right. Right, let's have a look at the map. There we go. So now that's what we've got. This is the um, failed thing. Don't know if we'll do anything with that, but I'm thinking we'll have some sidings over here, possibly. Sammy so will probably turn that into sidings, Paul. Well, yeah, I'm thinking of sidings on the north side, and then we could. I'll leave that for now. We can possibly use it to loop back yeah. in. Yeah. Do we want to create know. a triangle on the the north side, Paul? You know where we join into the main line again. I suppose we should, for completeness' sake. Let me save that. So I'm, I'm just thinking like we're going to be coming in from both the. Mm. Wouldn't hurt to have it, would the it? The iron works, and then we need to go to the freight depot and down to the logging camp and sawmill as well. What are the in-track bars at junctions? Hang on. I mean these these are they're, they're literally the guide rails so that lever there has got an arm on it that's attached to these two bits of metal and when you slide this, the slider it it moves the, the two pieces of metal so that when the wheel hits it it guides it off in a different direction oh further up what you mean this bit here i think it's because when it when the wheels are going over that junction then they're no longer it, i can explain this imagine if you're on this left bit of track here and you're coming along with your wheels you've got one wheel on that side and one wheel on the other well on this side here the wheel is no longer got anything pushing it to the left so this is like a guard bar to stop the wheel from ever wanting to go that way because that wheel's got nothing on the right side. This acts as a guard rail to keep it on this side of the track. Does that make sense? The same thing here. They're basically guard rails to stop the carriage from moving laterally. Any reason why this would be on a straight part of the track along a side of platform, no junction in sight? What those things? I don't know. I mean, again, they're just they're basically guardrails. So maybe the track cambers or something at that point. I don't know. You have to take a photo, I guess. Is the is the track cambered? Maybe you call them check rails. 
Yeah, it's it's the purpose. It's the, the reason for them, isn't it? I don't know why you'd have them work just on a straight bit of track. There must be a reason. Uh, Vertical, thank you for 64 months. We are good. Right, so I guess we could split back here. Right, pops. Let's try and get over to that bit. Because that's actually climbing as well, isn't it? Yep. No, oh, it's on a curve. It's not going to be easy. I mean, the other thing we could do, Paul, is run it parallel to this curve and then join it further down where the track's straight. And maybe take it off from here. Um, we'll see. Hang on. Let's try it. Before it turns away, let's see if it works. Hmm. It's not going to work. As the curvature here is relatively gentle. Yeah. See if we can blend that in. It's okay at this end. What about you? Just trying. It's got a gap in it. It's come back. Uh, Ghost Dragon, thank you for 17 months. 
Uh, why do you? Why not use the other switch? Then you will have a curve going on the old track and straight piece of the new one. That's actually a very good point, dude. To which I have no valid answer. I think you're right. I think that would have worked better. I'm low to change it now. <laughs> but I will do it next time. Yeah, I could have used the curve bit and just come in at, come at it the other way, couldn't I? Hmm. Hang on, pubs. I am. I just deleted some track for you. Let's try it. I don't know if that's elevating off that thing now or not. You have to delete a bit more back on yep. yours to get it lined. Should be okay, I think. Uh, what did you tell us about how you got Doyle and what it was like having him for the first few days? Um, crikey, that was a while ago, dude. I can't even remember where we went to get him. I, I remember I did it as a big surprise. Like, the kids had no idea where we were going or why. <laughs> the biggest problem, I kind of made a problem for myself, though, because when we got there... They had loads of puppies, and like there's basically like five of us trying to pick a puppy, and you know you all have different ideas about which one you should get, so that was a big issue. That's all right. That'll do, pig. That will do. Yes, he had uh, a brother as well, Chris. Exactly. Bodie. And it was great at first, and as he got older, they so just I guess started the next trying to kill each other. The thing is to start bringing stuff down here. Um, we've got to get the tools down here as well, haven't we? Yeah. Let's go and uh, have a look at what's going on. Okay, so what have we got? We're out of raw iron. Raw iron. Uh, we can unload another. Have we got any raw iron in these? Or are these all empty now? No, oh, these no, raw are... iron's on a flat car. I wish they yeah. wouldn't call it raw iron. No, it's confusing. It's called iron bars, iron beams, whatever. But then to make iron beams, this place that made some need stuff as well. <laughs> Chicken meets egg. Um, the iron beams go on these though, don't they? Yes. So we can unload another twenty-nine lumber. Yeah, six on each one. So that's most of it, I think, but not all of it. 
All right, let's unload what we can first. Okay. Good night, Jones. That firebox might need some wood in it. Yep. Gonna go and see what's going on with the raw iron place. No, it's uh, rails forty-four, raw iron zero. Hmm. Sight's unreachable. Thank you for subbing. Welcome. It needs cord wood. It doesn't have any. I think there's a tr half a train being loaded at the lo at the sawmill okay. that Somi was doing. There's some iron ore left. Hang on. Okay. Iron ore, let's see. Two iron ore to four cordwood. Makes one raw iron. So two iron ore makes one raw iron. So the most we could make out of that is 38. Iron out of that all. If we brought the cordwood for it, that's how many we could make. Okay. I can't unload any more lumber. How many cars are left? Like four. Uh, pull it forward and then put those four four cars in the sidings. We'll use the rest of the cars to move the iron. Bars. Okay. Are you going to teleport back down here, Paul? Uh, I'm just thinking for a second. Nice. If you click on the minimap on industry and then click on show info, hang on. Click on the minimap uh, on industry. On industry. On industry. What does that mean? Click it. Show info. Oh! No way. As if you don't need to go there to see what stuff is in it. Noise. Wait, FEO, that's iron oxide. <laughs> raw iron zero for it even tells you the price like 14 dollars times 10 huh. good tip mika right if we zoom out of there That's the coal mine. This map is, is so weird. I know there's a half a train already loaded of cordwood down at the the timber yard, sawmill, whatever the place is called. There's 148 iron ore up at the factory. Okay. It would need lumber to get... It's got 23 beams up there, so we'd have to take some lumber up there to get more out of it. Thanks, Fram. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, can I ask what requirements you need to run this game? I don't know, DJ Rich, but if you go to Steam and look for it, it, they always have the requirements listed on a Steam game. That's your best place. Have a look under recommended settings. Uh, so, hmm, what do we want to do, pups? Cordwood or, I, or get more iron ore or both or what? Uh, cordwood would be pretty easy because Frame started fitting the train with it, so there's already a train down there. Uh, train down where specifically? At the, I forgot what it's called. Sawmill? Timber yard. Timber. The lumber mill. The, yeah, the lumber mill. Logging camp, it calls it. Right, let's see what we got. Log camp. 
cordwood 32 of 32 yeah it looks like you started filling it if we, if one place needs lumber paul would it be just worth keeping the free carriages with lumber on the back and fill the rest up well lumber is the class the tier one car isn't it no, it's the one that we were just using. Uh, for logs, is I thought you, what you meant by lumber. Um, yeah, logs is tier one car. Yeah, I'm wondering lumber if it did work. Tier two. Yeah, just keeping the lumber on the back and going fill up with some more lumber because people, it seems to be going everywhere at the moment. Mm. Did we not leave? Wasn't the plan to leave a big? In the sidings down at the sawmill, a load of lumber, or did I dream that? I don't know, Paul. I thought that was the plan. There's a. Tr Let me go and have a look down there. Oh, there's a whole load of tier one cars and tier two cars down here. So there's already a load of tier two cars if you want to use these. They're down at the sawmill. Okay, I'll teleport down now. Is it MMO? Uh, drop the M off the front. Just go with MO. So what do you want to do first? That's the question. Well, I'm going to get that cordwood loaded up and bring it down to the um, smelter because it needs it to make more iron bars. Is there anything else the smelter needs? Iron ore. Well, and all the gondolas you had, I think. You've yeah. got all the gondolas down there, so if you want to... You could take those up to the uh, iron ore place, ready to get loaded, and then that'll need lumber to make yep. some more. And the actual sawmill is full of logs right now, so you can easily get more lumber. And there's even a train down here that is ready to go to carry lumber. So I suggest you bring the gondolas back to the iron mine okay there's and already a train and, and carriages at the iron mine they just need loading right what with gondolas on them yep okay in that case then maybe come back to the sawmill and load up on lumber okay but it depends how big a train you want to do to go for yeah because we need to bring back up to the iron ore mine needs lumber and beams yeah so you could load but it's already got some beams in stock yeah it's got i think that's 20 yeah 23 yeah what's the ratio two lumber to one beam so you've got loads of beams i would just go with whole you could work it out but i just go with lumber a just whole take, train of lumber up here yeah. yeah just take a whole train of lumber up there all right okay teleport down and grab that train Next question is, do I need two locomotives to get it up there? That's the big question. I don't know. Yes, he does fade to black. Chrome has, like, chatty with a million buttons on it, and he just clicks the right one to reply. <laughs> First of all, thank 44 months. What game is this? <laughs> Please don't. can't remember if we used two trains or not. How many cars have you got? Uh, Vrome, where did you work out? Was it in the spreadsheet where you work out? Was it loco data, wagon data, or cargo data where you work out the... Um, or was it calculator, maybe? If you tell me how many cars we've got, we can work it out. 16. 
So you've got 16 lumber, you're thinking? Yep. Hey, Zenim. Um Yeah, you said just take the train of lumber, didn't you? Yeah, just load it up with lumber and we'll work it out. Okay. From where do you work out the um, the calculator for how many? You maybe you was using that calculator earlier. Earlier that you you tell it how many cars you've got of what, and it tells you what gradient you can go up. Oh, I've missed one on both of them. Is one a scumbag? Thought it was full. I have to reverse it now. Was that on the spreadsheet, bro? Which tab was that? The first spreadsheet where you do that. Right, so from save me because I have to log into to make I'd have to make a copy of it and have to find my browser up and log into Google and stuff. Can you tell me if sixteen cars of lumber with one Heisler is that doable? Because I can't edit it without logging into Google and making a copy and stuff. Well, I I want to know what gradient it'll do. Like, will that do a three or four percent? Solve for X. <laughs> like being back at school. Two point six percent is all that'll do, so it sounds like you need two locos. Okay. In which case you, you could consider bringing more cars. Because you're gonna need two locos anyway. Do we have any more cars? Well, you had a load of them down at the, the ironworks. That's true. It's whether you can be bothered taking them over first or just going with what you've got. If I park this in the the the, the sawmill yard, I'll go and grab the others, and we just I'll just do a massive train up there. Okay. I know, Phoenix, that's what I'm fixing now. Nope, they all appear to be fully loaded now. Everything appears to be correct. Right. Now we need to work out a route. That switch you just passed, I'm going to flick it, by the way. Yeah, yeah no worries.
The controls look strange, why? Yeah, oh yes, you can derail. It'd be no fun if you couldn't derail. Just ask Frome here, tell you. Yeah. Yeah, Vrom, Vrom can help you with derailing. <laughs> Thank you, Vrom. Uh, Eagle Point, the only place I've not gone to yet is the final one, the um, refinery. Refinery. Kind of getting there. We've just hooked up to the oil yard or pump or whatever it's called. Big Ben, thank you for two years. Happy anniversary, dude. Two years of Jeff's money, I'll take it. I thought this had much more of a gradient on it than it currently has. past the sawmill shortly. Yeah, no worries. I'm loading up with um, lumber. Oh, it's fine. The controls. Um, you can ignore most of them. The main one is the regulator and reverser. So the reverser is like, which way do you want to go? Think of it that way. 100% forward, you're going forward. 100% backward, you're going backwards. So when you apply this regulator, which is, think of it as a throttle. When you apply that, you put power in that direction. And then the only other thing then is the brake. You don't need the generator and the compressor. You can just have on very low to bring uh, back into your brake. Your, your main brake tank. So you, you kind of just need throttle and gear forward, gear reverse. That's the main stuff. The other thing to watch out for then is on the steam train, you've got to make sure you're going to open this, look at it, and it'll say 67% full of wood. So just pick some wood up off here, left click, and then right click to throw it in. Shut the door. And that keeps your um, boiler temperature up. It should be at 400. And that can boil the water into steam. Right, let's have a look. So, signal is correct. Correct. Where are we dropping this off again? Drive by there, that should be fine. Right, you can set those points at the sawmill now. I'm done. Oh, it, isn't, it doesn't matter at the moment. I'm still loading up stuff. 
I'll just let you know I've gone past. Yeah, no. It's... Yes, there's different different locomotives you can buy. So, you go to the buy screen. You've got the flat car tier one, tier two, tier three, the hopper, the tanker, the box car, and then the caboose, and then you've got the hand car, and then in order of power, if you like, the porter, one and two, the eureka. Climax, the Heisler, which is what we're using, and then the Cookie Mogul and the DNRG Class 70. That's your lot. What do you reckon the odds are that you can take a flight to Mars in your lifetime? Non-existent. In my lifetime, a flight to Mars may be possible, but would be like jaw-droppingly expensive that I would never be able to afford it. And besides, I really the don't think... The follow question is, uh, is, why would you even want to get to Well, I was about to say, the next thing... <laughs> The main thing is, why would you want to go, given that you have to wait for the right transfer window anyway, which only comes around every 18 months or something stupid, or eight months, I can't remember. And then when you get there, there's no, it's like completely uninhabitable. So, to my mind, what needs to happen first is send a whole load of bots down there, the robots, and just start <laughs> building things for us. No, I'm not even joking. That's that's the way that we oh. can get to other planets. It's just send bots and materials and have them construct things so that we can live in them. And then go down there. Hurry up, SpaceX. Come on. It's strictly steam. They may add a diesel, diesel at some point. Full factorial. I'm not saying terraform it. Let me just be clear about that. I'm not saying terraform. We do not have the technology to terraform. What I'm saying is send construction bots down there to build the things that we need. You could even, if, you know, by the time robotics gets advanced enough, they could even set up like hydroponic plants to start growing things for us. Just set up the environment for us to live in and then we can go there. Because we can't live in the toxic environment that that is on Mars. So build stuff to support life and then go down there. But terraforming, that's a whole different thing. The sheer amount of energy that you would need to terraform a planet, and not to mention the time, even if it was possible, Tom, did you see them mention in the new expansion for Factorio? No, this is iron ore. I've got to reverse it around to the other place, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. We should terraform our own planet first.
pop some sad mate. Why? I've finished all of my um, spicy hula hoops. Yeah, that is a sad day, Paul. I have none left now. You're going to have to get some more. But I have Flaming Hot Monster Munch. Yay! Woo! Well, that kink there, look at that. That's horrible. Oh, this doesn't have a big magnetic field. Well, it doesn't have a spinning iron core, that's why. Why, why do we need the magnetic field, though? <laughs> Kink shaming. No, that, this is some of the earliest track I built. This was like when I didn't know how to build properly. It's a mess. Oh, solar radiation protection. That's yeah, a good, that top good track point, ball, We spent like two hours on it and then went, that would do because we couldn't be asked with it anymore. Yeah. Yeah, that's another reason why like, we, we need to build We were there trying to get it perfect and we was like, no, I, I don't want any more of this bit. Let's just go somewhere else. <laughs> well, I, I don't think Mars has any kind of ionosphere, does it? It doesn't have anything to shield us. Discord is adding forum channels. Wait, what does that mean? How, how do they work differently to normal channels? Open TTD is a good game. Beer Bo Lots. Have you ever played the original? I, dude, I have got, no word of a lie, look at my Instagram. I have got the original Microprose Transport Titan. Tycoon Deluxe CD from like 1995. I remember buying it. I've still got it. I posted a picture on my Instagram. And then OpenTTD was basically take that game, unlock a whole bunch of parameters and make it better because it had a bunch of limits in it. Why do I feel like I'm going the wrong way? Because I think you need to go on the track to yes. your right. Yes, I do. I'm definitely going the wrong way. But surely, Mike, if we nuke, if we nuke Mars's poles, surely the radiation is going to make it even worse on the planet still actively maintained that's just bonkers I don't there aren't many games with longevity like that it is just like it is indeed free on Steam you used to have to download it not a big fair of space. There's no atmosphere. That's true, Chris. Can't argue with that. Right. Let's see. I want to be going down this one. Yeah, that's more like it. Depends on the type of nuke. Well, you say that, uh, Sigent, but surely the, uh, with the solar wind, surely it's still just going to blow it around the atmosphere. Isn't it? Oh, Rome is playing Rare Roads Online. Save the game, Paul. Let's get ready to rumble. 
Solus, thanks for 62 months, sir. To be fair, I'm already getting 28 FPS, Chris. I think it's the mod that does it. The Railroad's Online Extended. It starts off fine, but it just seems to get worse. Hey. Hello. Hello. Have you saved the game, Paul? I'm about to. Hang on. <laughs> no. I mean, it auto saves anyway, but yeah. I don't think I can unload all of these, can I? No, I think you have to split it in half. I'm gonna hit the brakes. See if we do the magic trick thing. Randomly, I can't find the server anymore. Oh yeah, the region thing. Yeah, it's still it's still on the UK London. But Just refresh the server page for him. Right. It should. There, there is a server called Truckers FM, so I guess they no. have a server. Lol, <laughs> as if there's a server called Truckers FM. No, 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 no. Flickering texture hype. Thanks, game. Really? No, oh, well, who does groundwork anyway? Okay, so we're going to try and see if we can put a junction in here. Hmm. Don't think we use that anyway. Now, do I need to bring that back a bit? I think I might. I think I might. Moody Pirate. <laughs> Thank you very much for subbing. Can that clip? What about that? Doesn't help that the name wasn't exactly the same. Was it not? Well, don't say nope. the name, obviously. Oh, I won't, no. I must have rushed and mistyped it. Yeah. I mean, you know, there can't be that many that are called Squirrel's Server. Yeah. <laughs> and the password is Kebab. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Maybe it is a Truckers FM server, just hiding it as a Truckers FM server. Right, now let's find out if we can do a drive by.
doesn't help that the game said there was only one of one person in the server. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it says it on every server that there's only one person in it. Don't forget to join the company. So I was like, it can't be that one, there should be two. <laughs> Good old loading sim. Controls. Right, you're going to let me unload. No, you stupid game, what are you doing? Okay, that happened. Rip. Well, he... Right, but it fell back on. Yeah, he kind of landed and then, yeah, it got eaten. So it did kind of work. You just got to take it slower, I think. Yeah. Unload it, like stop it and make sure the arrow is above it and then unload. It needs somebody driving the train slowly because it does, I think it is on a slow... Oh, yeah, he kind of drops it on the floor and then just goes om nom nom. Yeah, it's definitely on a hill. Okay, that was odd. So first I was at the spawn point. Now I stepped one meter forward and suddenly I'm back at logging camp. Lol. GG game. The game was, oh yeah, you were there. You were there. Let me move you. I mean, this doesn't look amazing, but it does get the job done. Yep. At least you don't have to disconnect your train. Exactly. <laughs> to be honest, I blame the devs for this shenanigans. They shouldn't have put that stupid pile of sludge that you can't move. Yep. Yeah. Well, that part is the iron ore. What firm? Should it, should I move it back more back, further backwards? It, it shouldn't block you from building. It's just stupid. No. Yeah. Well, you drive through a massive pile of iron ore if you unload it there. I don't think we lost it, Costello. It's consuming it, mate. It's actually taking it on board and using it. You see what I mean? It's just like going nom 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 and then eating it. Cool. I unloaded the whole thing. Nice. What game is this? I think we need a command for what game is this. There is an exclamation mark game and it will tell you. No, 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 no. We need a command that tells people how to fish, not what the, not what the fish is, if you see what I mean. Uh. What? Go read the title? No, read yeah, the game. It literally shows you where to find out what game it is, because otherwise they go into every single stream saying what game is this. So we need to help people. <sighs> Oh dear God, what the heck is that? 
How's that look? Difficult game to play this if you're a bit particular about things. But this whole area needs redoing. It's an absolute mess. Right, we have eight raw iron down here now. Why do we only have eight raw iron? And 60 Cause, rails. Because it'll be making both, wouldn't it? No, it's making them now. Eight raw iron, there we go. A bit too fast. How are you doing, sir? Thank you for 89 months. I was able to pick up a few railway buffers for cheap the other day. I took advantage of the end of line sale. We have had that joke today, sir, but you wasn't here. But thank you for 89 months. See, it says it's got zero cordwood. Wait, how has it managed to take all of that cordwood and not make it into very much raw iron? Huh? Alt. What is going on? We've got eight iron out of that. What? That makes no sense. Because this thing is stupid slow. Yeah, but it surely it wouldn't take the input. So it takes lost... four cord woods and two iron ore to make one raw iron and two rails. Well, Costell's saying that we lost all that cold wood because it didn't land on the platform. Well, I thought it was counting up, though, and then going. I saw it counting up as oh. it was doing it. No, it was literally counting up as it was unloading. Obduro, thank you for 10 months. I mean, I don't understand, but it just does feel like I've just lost a load of cold wood. Kick about five minutes and not do that. But well, depends what you guys have been doing in the last five minutes. Yeah, you can do it. We just, I'll just have to reload the train, which ain't no hassle. Ay, 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 sorry. It's fine. Right, I'm just going to leave. Just count up to fall and disappearing. Why? Why, game? Why? I was like, wait, why did I get kicked out of the game? Right, let's see. Eighteen. I can go back five minutes. Or I can go back fifteen. Five. Five. Five is enough. Five. Mark 644, thank you for 66 months, Mark. That's frustrating because I thought I had that track working okay. Maybe I just need to straighten it a bit more and then kink it more sharply. Let's see how many cars have been unloaded. Okay. I reckon some might have already been unloaded. If it's only five minutes. So better wait to join then. Any products in the game needs to land right on the platform to go in the industry storage. That's scumbaggery, that is. Yeah, that's not enough. I've literally got three cars left. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to find
Yeah, that sound is terrifyingly annoying. However, Armin, that sound is not as bad as snooker. Is it, pups? No, snooker's a million times worse than that. To be honest, that sound is worse if you're not a host. Yeah, because you only get it once, Paul. We get it like 20 times. Yeah. I think the best save is the manual one, 1816, which is when Vrome joined. Because that's two minutes later than the auto save. Yeah. So I'll save you two minutes. It's basically when Vrome joined. That's that's where we're going back to. Okay. I'll give you any railroads online thing when I can. Yeah, no worries. Just let Rome, let my game load up and let me get the railroads online fully running. I'll give you the link and then join. Don't join, otherwise it might break. Okay. It really is the sudden. They don't load the options for your audio settings and they just, they just go 100% and then we'll read the audio settings. Lovely. Right. Um, I've got it running. For some reason it's not appearing in OBS. Weird. There we go. Got it. Right. Right, where was we? <laughs> Not where I was, fixing the uh, platform back here. I gotta reload a whole train. Yay. to the ground. Reckon that'll be enough? You might have to just unload one car at a time, I think. I have to move away from the platform, otherwise how can I reverse all them cars back through here? Where am I going to put them? Uh, Flying Bish, thank you for two months. Stop the cars in between, that should do it. Yeah, I think that's the thing. We won't be able to do like a rolling drop. I think you have to stop a car, unload, stop a car, unload. That's the payoff. No, you can't build through this stuff. It's just the, the developers have decided that this 
this thing can't be built through and is a great idea and they're not going to remove it. Stimpy Slammer, thank you for five subs. Welcome, guys. Thanks to Scroll Gift. Someone's saying to build a bridge. Yeah, I, I don't know. Somebody was talking about, like, building a wooden bridge here somehow. And going over the top of it. shenanigans like this I think let's see if we can get that to work somehow one second Show me the build. No, you can't move the platforms. You can't move any of the fixed installations. Uh, Hell Knight Inc., thank you very much for subbing. Welcome. Uh, 1994 can I, I don't really accept Steam friends. Don't tend to do that. It's a funny place, the internet. You know, all kinds of weird people out there. I'm not saying you're a weird, weird person. I'm just saying it's full of weird people. I'm not sure that's high enough. Yes, I have a Steam group. Right, let's see if we can build the track back here. <laughs> the thing is... But like if you have a Steam friend as well, they can message you while you're playing games and stuff like that. So I'm very, very selective. this because the devs decide to leave a pile of stuff there. What a bunch of scumbags. Be 
Could you ramp down the strange solution to the terrible drop point? You could ramp down if you wanted to. Um, I'm not sure what the track looks like down there. In theory, you could ramp down here, put a cross piece in there, but then where are you going to go? You can't easily make a turn, so it's probably not worth ramping down. Other than to hit the buffer, I guess. Fletcher Reed, thank you for 17 months. Yeah, I, don't, I don't understand the thinking, Fate of Black, of this at all, really. I, I don't understand what they're thinking. Nobody leave just a pile of stuff here. You know what I mean? Like, you just move it so that you can build track. It's like it's there just to annoy people and make it more challenging. That's all it's there for, really. Well, I, I, I just think they need to think of better ways to make things harder than that. That's not hard. That's frustrating. This is going to be interesting because as it goes past, it's going to then start hitting the incline and start to slow down and come back at me. That's what's going to happen. See, I'm sure that number went up before as well. It's just really odd. Yeah, it's definitely working properly now. Yay for a proper unload here. Woo! Nice. Nice. Yeah, you can actually see the cordwood pole up outside now. That should go up. Yay, we're on nine. Woo! Right, it's now making raw iron. Noise. Cool. Yeah, I think I like that solution a bit better than jinking the track over and yeah. having it fail. It's just, it's just annoying you have to do it. Yep. Yeah. I wonder what will happen if we load a, we unload a boat, a load of uh, iron ore there. Um, what do you mean, what will happen? Well, the mounter will obviously go through the track. Because that's where the unloaded iron ore goes. Uh, Chucky Shrews, thank you very much for 26 months.
There you go. Solid buffer. Bang. Right, let's get these back then. Yeah, but they've said they're not going to add buffers because small gauge American railroads didn't have small buffers, so they're not going to add them. Apparently that's what they've said. Which means we'll have to make wait for somebody to mod them into the game, I guess. No, legal, legal. That's the uh, smelter. So you bring iron ore and cordwood into that, and it'll produce iron bars which the game calls raw iron but it's iron bars and then uh, rail like pieces of rail oh this is probably going to derail What's a buffer? Have you never seen them at train stations? The thing at the end of the track, in case the train... They're like a giant stopper. If you hit one, you're probably going to lose your train license, train driving license. <laughs> Unless something failed on the train. Why do you lose water? Jimbo. Because you're losing you're losing it to steam, aren't you? You don't like you're venting steam out the pistons. So you, you it's not like a contained system. You're boiling water into steam, you're using it to drive ma machinery, and some of the steam escapes. Or if the pressure's too high, then the valve will release anyway. Oh why we're not losing water, oh we are, just slowly. Oh, it's going down. Hello, how you doing? Right, I'm on my way back from the smelter. Okay. Wood, raw iron. It's still got plenty of iron, isn't it? This thing needs more cold wood. Uh, HR Rev, thank you for 10 minutes. Lotus, thank you for 89. Sorry I'm late for the party, just finished with my new Ryzen 9 gaming rig. Does it work? There's always that moment when you build a PC where you have to press the power on button for the first time. And you sort of like, you don't want to press it, but you do. No, that's you... me every day, Paul. Oh. <laughs> like you're excited to Will press it. it. No, you're... this is but honestly what you... I do. I press the power button and then go and make a cup of tea. I think you might need to reinstall Windows or something. If it's taken that early, that long. Bronze just... He's just readying up for Windows 11, that's what he's doing. Oh, uh, I don't want I Windows 11, wait a bit. but my 10's so unstable. Yeah. True. That's the vice is a nightmare. Yeah, you get used to it. I had to get used to the I AMD to BIOS after the install. Intel BIOS. I think I might go with 10 still.
SSDs are cheap now. Still hard drives, but SSDs like five times quicker. I remember once I built an AMD system and, and I pressed the power button and nothing happened and I was like, like it, it spun up and the fans started, but there was just no BIOS screen. And after I'd finished panicking, I realized that I hadn't plugged in the CPU cable, so the CPU had no power. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So I plugged the CPU cable in and pressed it and then it came alive. I was like, woo. Intel 12 Gen bias is different than 9, from Gen 9, is it really? Actually, let me just stop here a second. Yeah, let's have a look what's in here. Lumber, iron, rails. Might grab those cars as well. That's in a side pool full of lumber ready to go up. Has it got lumber in it? Yeah, I just put ah. filled it up. Why? Oh, because they were empty before, and I was thinking, oh, I'll nick the empty ones as well and take them. I'm bringing empty ones down now, you can nick, because I need to split this in half, otherwise I can't get it up the hill. Where are you now? You... Just at the freight depot. Don't you have a second oil? Yeah, but there's 20 carts here, Frame, so I can't take the get 20 carts. Oil, Plus... Well, I want to do a massive cordwood run. So it's better I just give Paul some of what I have already on me. Quarter would have a three trail the wagons though. Using the oh, Zenon so we next don't have any more nice. of the wagons that Paul needs. Yeah, that's two three. So Paul, that means you're gonna to have to refer us to the freight depot and I can buy you some more. Wait, what have you got you got tier three? No, I don't you... have the ones you need. I need tier two, don't I? No, that's tier three you're pulling. Oh. Go to with a tier three. Meh. So if you, I don't know if you want to refer us down, and I'll buy you a load of trailers. Mm. Buy buy us six, and I'll come and get them in a minute. Okay. You'll only be able to buy four. Why not Why? six? There's stuff parked in the way. What? Can we just re-rail it out the way? Yeah, I'll, I'll sort it out. 